Red Shark News at IBC 2017. Brought to you by Panasonic, offering connected systems and solutions for broadcast and pro AV. NewTek, the world's first full end-to-end -end IP solution. Zeiss Camera Lenses, always delivering the best quality to make your project stand out. Black Magic Design, amazing solutions for film, post-production, and television. I'm super stoked to be here at the Zeiss booth. With me is Sneha from Zeiss. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. So, what's new? Well, you know, a lot of stuff is new going on at IBC 2017, but over here at the Zeiss booth, we have the CP3 XD lenses that we're showing off that people are really getting to know what the metadata technology is offering and what it could do for them. Because, you know, in production, of course, you can see your marks and stuff already on the cameras. So you can use it for, you know, follow focuses and things like that that tell you what mark you're on in terms of the focus or iris. But we also give you extended data, which is right now shading and distortion data frame by frame. And people use that uh, data in the VFX pipeline today anyways. What they usually do is they shoot a bunch of charts to profile lenses and then you use software plugins like in Nuke and stuff like that to try to figure out what the distortion shading characteristics are because you have to dial that out so you can do VFX and then you reapply those shading distortion characteristics at, at the end usually. So this normal workflow becomes a little bit easier if the lens is providing those shading distortion characteristics, especially if it's frame accurate, because as you focus the distortion changes or if you iris the shading changes. So by having that information right away from the lens and using the software um, solutions that we have in place, it's real easy to get this work done faster, save time and money, and also give you a much more accurate image. And it's well known that Zeiss make absolutely stunning optics. What has the reaction been like from the industry? It's been really great because at first, you know, metadata is like, it's not new per se, because we have it like uh, in our Ultra Prime LDS lenses or Master Prime lenses as well. But to have the extra shading distortion characteristics, that's a big thing. So when someone that's been doing VFX even for a little while shows up, they right away understand the necessity for this and the importance of it. So you're talking about a wide group of users that really can make use of this technology. So it's been really wide received and of course it has full format coverage. And you know everyone at IBC right now is talking about that, yeah. right? For since 2009, Zeiss has had full form format coverage in its lenses with the first the CP2s, now the CP3 and the CP3 XD, but also our CZ2 zooms, which are our cinema zooms. These are high quality zoom lenses in three focal lengths, 15 to 30, 28 to 80, 70 to 200, and all three of these are full format coverage with a T2.9 uh, aperture uh, when it's fully open. So, and it's very consistent aperture, it doesn't ramp or anything like that, so you don't have any lighting changes, it's very cinematic, and again, it matches with Ultra Prime, so it's a high quality lens. So we do have the solution when the full format cameras finally do come out, we will already be ready since 2009. So for our viewers out there who are considering the CP3 lenses, you mentioned the CP2 lenses, just for those of us who don't know much about them, um, what is the main differences between the two? Well, there's been improvement from the CP2s to the CP3s in terms of consistency of T-stop. The 15, 18, and 21 are T29 now, and everything else is T21. All the rest of the seven lenses from 25 to 135. So you get a lot more consistency in the T-stop. You get a better housing, better focus rings, iris rings. The housing's smaller, lighter. From 15 to 85, it's the exact same size and shape. The 100 and 135 are just a little bit longer, but not a bigger diameter. So everything's at 95 front mil. Uh, millimeter front diameter. Um, you also have a nice lens support built into the body of the lens. It's further away from the mount, so it's easier to use on rods. And of course, you have uh, better optics in the sense of better coatings with the latest T-Star coatings, which give the best uh, anti-reflecting uh, coatings that we can possibly do right now. But there are some focal lengths that are completely new also, like the 18, which performs at T2.9 really nicely. It's way better than it was in the previous iteration. So there are a couple of focal lengths that you know have changed quite a bit. But I think the main difference is also having the XD technology available in the CP3 really sets it apart. Now it gives it much more abilities, makes it future-proof, you know, in terms of a lens that can be used for many more things to come in the future. I think that one of the big things about Zeiss is that when you buy a lens, you're essentially you could buy, buy it for life if you take good care of it. And the idea of like Zeiss proof proofing their lenses is not a new concept. You guys really are at the forefront of your, of your optic technology. 
What is next for Zeiss after the CP3 and beyond? Where do you guys see yourself in the future? Well, I, we can't tell you that. <laughs> <Come on. laughs> But I can tell you that we will always be here to support the industry. We will always make tools for professionals at all different levels. Remember, we make lenses, still lenses, starting at like a thousand US dollars or less than a thousand euros, all the way up to 40,000 euros or 40, 50,000 dollars, you know, with the master anamorphic lenses. So we make a wide variety and we work with the, the best filmmakers of all different age groups and, and experience levels. So we'll always keep making that. And remember, with Zeiss lenses, you do have a professional product. You have a lens that can be shimmed when it's a cinema lens. You have a lens where you can change the mount by yourself if you are changing camera bodies from like an EF mount to an E mount to a PL mount. So like you said, if you want to keep a product for a long time, we're going to be there for you. So that is it from Zeiss. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you want any more information, <laughs> please hop over to redstripenews.com and we'll see you next time.